I'm noticing myself that ice isn't as thick as it used to be. Climate change, we're seeing that the, climate, the temperatures are not as cold as it used to be. Rex Holwell has spent his life on the sea ice that forms each winter off the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada. Like other Inuit, he learned to hunt seals and fish over the sea ice highways. But he fears climate change is about to upend it all. As droughts last longer and heat waves flooding and storms intensify, the Inuit are doing what they have always done, adapt. For the past three years, Holwell has helped run a sea ice monitoring program for the Inuit called Smart Ice. It pairs traditional Inuit knowledge with modern technology. Data collection buoys and electromagnetic sensors provide real-time measurements of sea ice thickness. Locals can access the information through a website, phone app or Facebook. More than 30 Inuit communities use Smart Ice. And Holwell believes the tool can extend the time the Inuit have left on the sea ice before it completely disappears. We provide people with data that they can use as a tool um, to help make them inform decisions while they're traveling on the sea ice so they can make the choices to help keep them safe while they're traveling on the sea ice to go to that location where they want to go to you know hunt seals or hunt partridges or to get the arctic chair or, or to get their wood and you know the, the whole point of us collecting this data is to help keep people safe while they're traveling on the sea ice. The Arctic is warming four times faster than the rest of the planet. That's according to analysis published in Nature Communications Earth and Environment in August 2022. Separate modelling by experts shows that as soon as 2035, Arctic sea ice might drop below 400,000 square miles during the summer. Holwell says other communities living on freshwater lakes and rivers in northern Canada have begun asking about smart ice. For now, the focus is on Canada, but he says Sami caribou herders and others in Sweden, Finland, Iceland and England are also interested in the technology. Over in his tiny Inuit town, the effects of climate change are being felt every day. It has a huge role in our mental well-being as well, you know, um, as Inuit people to be able to go out on the sea ice. And, you know, with climate change happening what it was, uh, what it is, you know, it, it's going to have a huge effect in the future um, on those generations who, who can't go out on the sea ice and, you know, practice their traditions and keep their culture alive.